So in case you didn't know by now, I do things online, which means that there's always somebody out there that hates me. And every so often that hatred does kind of pile up when it really kind of starts to get to you. I think I have a little, a little two hour period I like to call the weepies and sleepies. This is when one of those sessions that uh, the ghost of Steve Jobs came and visited me and said, dude, bro, you're in your thirties. These are just stupid words on the internet. You should just turn it into content. And I looked at Steve Jobs in the eye and said, you know what? You are right. Let's turn them into content. So here we go. By the way, the names of the annoying comments have been withheld because they're probably just 12 years old and very angry and there's no point in harassing them back. Well, I guess next video will be a tutorial on how to worship your Lord and Savior. Yeah, I'm gonna need an elaboration for this one, Chief. Is it because the assemblage is vaguely cross-shaped? They're talking about this thing I posted the other day. Not quite. In all the years of him drawing these characters, you never suspected something else behind this. Guy's proud of his art. Must be a cult. A cringe waste of materials. You're cringe and a waste of materials. Relax, dude. You, you cannot complain about something of being cringe with a profile picture like that. Just be cringe. As for wasting of materials, I disagree. They're displaying their craft, being able to see something you made, say something you spent time on every day. It does wonders for the psyche. My profile picture's goofy, I agree. But at least I don't have anime girls on my wall. <laughs> well, shit, dude, you got me there. I'm starting to see a pattern, and I don't like it. What's the pattern? Say it. Let's put it this way. Suspicious pictures of women. Can't spell put right, but get, get suspicious down to a T, huh? You mean women with large breasts and or thighs? Lol. I mean, Siana and Sana, the two characters I assume you're talking about, have been around for a while. The pattern you speak of is not new. I'll be like that voice I gave you, Lousy, you MVP. Yes, about the first part. I had just seen this picture and I've never seen the Chanel before. Three, no offense. Just wanted to piet out this is a joke. Funny how it always goes back to that, right? When the joke doesn't land, you, you have to like clarify it's a joke. I mean, I had to do that recently, I'm gonna admit. Like maybe that ending was a little too severe, but hey, I found it funny. Is it over sexualized? My brain. Bro, who the fuck made this? Why are the thighs the size of whales? Talk about this character, by the way. You know, you haven't seen anything the internet can do with thigh sizes then. Maybe keep it that way. I say this as a man who has been on the internet since like early 2000s. DeviantArt was fucking nuts, dude. And now they just sell AI generated versions of this degeneracy. I'm about to become the Junker. Oh, this is the super special one. They get the toad voice. Fuck you. I hate you and everything you stand for. Why? Just, just, why? The hell is your problem? The fucking wall! What, what's wrong with it? It's literally just a bunch of pictures put together to form a shape. You don't need to get so angry over a shape. Do you not see the fucking images? Well, Tim Tim here doesn't seem to like the anime. Anime is not the problem here! Don't try and make me seem insane! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Oh, what's the problem then, little Jamborino? Do the sizes scare you? Is the hair the furry one? The use of the orange and blue? All of the above? Well, I got some sad news there, little guy. If this scares you, leave the internet and don't come back. Or become content. I even have to admit, that one was pretty fucking cringe, but it was just so funny how dramatic they were getting. I wanted to share the energy. As I was editing this, one of the people responded to the, the original thing, and it was Cult Guy. Worshipping the picture of a character? Isn't that cults in a nutshell? I mean, if we really want to get technical about it, uh... The actual definition of a cult is a religious group often living together whose beliefs are considered extreme or strange by many people. There's also this one that says a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object, and that's probably what they're assuming, which is fine, but like... No, it's not a cult thing! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Boy stretched so hard, he's practically doing fucking yoga! Two, there's like, there's like seven characters on that wall, not one. I mean, there's like two Sianas, and I'm assuming that's probably what he's talking about, but like, dude, dude, just dude, grass. 
touch it. And I think that's where we're gonna stop for today, at least just on this introductory video, just to get a feel for it. If you like this sort of thing, I'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got your own personal annoying comments that you've gotten, and you want them writing stupid ass voices for cathartic reasons, you can check out the link in the pinned comment below. It's our new submission server for all of the things we do on this channel. And this particular one just opened up so you could be the first one to submit. Just drop them all right in there. Obviously take out the identity of the person who's being a stupid bingus and yeah. I'll go ahead and give him the dumbest voice you can imagine. Thank you all so much for watching. Now if you excuse me, I've got... I've got Kool-Aid recipes to look up for some reason. Don't question it, don't. Don't.